as we head into the biggest weekend for football fans. Many people will either be hosting or going to a party for the big game. Well, it works out that this week just so happens to be National Burn Awareness Week, a good reason to remember we need to protect everyone, including the kids at the party. Captain Barrett Baker has the important tips for us. It's always great to have you on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. Thank I learned so a lot much. earlier about Valentine's Day. And so that was <laughs> I hope you were taking notes. And yeah. I obviously saw the crystal ball as well. So yeah. we've got a lot going today. Yeah. We really do. But this is a very serious topic. And, and you actually have several tips for us today to make sure our kids stay safe mm -hmm. at the big game party. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it almost has become a national holiday. And I laugh because yeah. we talked about Valentine's Day. But Super Bowl Sunday is a huge deal. And I can just speak for ourselves. We're probably having five different couples over, and between all of the kids, there's going to be over 15 kids at our house. Yeah. Wow. So when we talk about, you know, the fact that it's supposed to be such a fun-filled and fantastic day, but a burn can really change the complexion of that. And you know, when it comes to burns, when and and children, about 62% of those are related to kids that are under five years of age. Uh -huh. And why is that? Well, everyone, you know, kids reach up and they pull things down. So we as parents have to do an exceptional job this weekend of making sure that we don't let the kids have the access to those types of things that are going to happen. So a couple of the, the, the quick things when it comes to the kitchen itself. You know, try to basically make that a non-kids type of uh, zone. So don't let them in the kitchen. And I know that's where the food is going to be and they're going to be interested. But maybe if you can put that in a different room or just away from the oven, the stove especially. You know, when it comes to actually cooking, if you're going to have some delicious you know, hot dogs and hamburgers and now I've made some chili to go with it, instead of putting that on the front burner of the stove, use the back burners of the stove. So again, it's all about them reaching up and pulling things down on top of them. Or if something is has to be on that front burner, turn the handle. Turn the handle, Turn exactly, the handle so it's not. That way if they actually reach up, well, what are they going to actually yeah. reach up? And to secondly, it takes kind of that visual stimulation yeah. away from them because they might not know that it's even there if you have that t the handle yeah. turned in. Mm -hmm. So those are two great things. Uh, crock pots, you know, you have that nacho cheese that's going to be delicious. Scalding hot, though. And if you have the cord... Uh, dangling down or if you have that crock pot a little bit cl too close to the uh, edge of the counter again recipe for disaster there the fact that they're able to pull something like that down on top of them so that's called prevention you know very important when it comes to the kitchen some of the other things though that if you are not used to having children over at your house when was the last time you actually checked the temperature of your water heater Oh. oh, yeah right I mean that's something that it's kind of set at what it is mm -hmm. and you get used to it well we actually just got a new water heater last week. So the old one was so inefficient compared to the new one that when I had it set on the exact same setting and yet it was steam and excessive heat as soon as we turned on the hot water. Oh. So that was a great lesson for me that if you get a new hot water heater or anything else, make sure that you're actually paying attention to what that is set at. You don't want it to be more than about 120 degrees Fahrenheit or that's usually like a middle setting. So if you're going to have kids over and you're not used to that, that's another thing because everyone needs to go wash their hands before they eat. That way you don't get sick like what I sound like today. No. Yeah. And uh, by doing that, again, sometimes kids don't know what's hot and cold. They're going to go in, they're going to crank up that uh, water. And if your water heater is set too high, then we can have scalds and burns from that as well. I wouldn't well, have thought of that one. No, that's what I was going to say is right. you brought up points that I haven't even thought of. So right. thank you. But I, we do have to talk about that if a burn does happen, you know, it unfortunately yeah. will happen in some cases. So what do we do yeah. if it is Very, very painful. Happen? Burns are very, very painful. Right. So if you get the blistering, the one thing is that our skin is kind of our, our protection though and it protects us from getting infected with things. So if you get a blister, we don't want you to pop that blister. So try to keep it covered up. Don't pop the blister if, you're not a, if you don't have to. Uh, basically like a lukewarm type of water. You're gonna put it under lukewarm water. Uh, for you know however long it takes to get you a little bit of relief and then basically we want to wrap that up as quickly as possible so if depending on the burn itself obviously you know if first degree second degree third degree reddening blistering and then if you get a third degree burn now that obviously can be life-threatening so that's something that you would have to follow up on at an emergency room but if it's the minor types of burns uh, you know try to reduce that burning so get if, if something is actually burning you get that away from that cool it off and then cover it up i'm glad you said lukewarm because i've heard everyone say if something happened put them underneath some cold water well, you know that's yeah. what i always almost, hear people say honestly it, it's almost changed 
and uh, you know, there's so many things that we yeah. used to think and now Is that kind of old school? And well, the, all, a lot of that has changed. So I mean, just if you're not comfortable with that, then make, just get online and take a look at it and see what you're comfortable with. So I mean, that's there's all the information out there and it's easy to, for us to find out. I'll just have you on speed dial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That> <laughs> just call Barrett. I'll be like, hey, I don't know what to do. Uh, that's why we have you on. This is you. great things for us to remember. It's a reminder for the parents and I hope you feel better. You're a little smooth I, jazz going on I'm there. I'm white, very white. You are a little very white today. Well, if you'd like Barry White to give you some more safety tips, him and his team are always available for you. Go online to fire.tucsonaz.gov.